What is good, y'all? And welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. Now, you know what I'm saying? This video is just going to be real quick and real short. I just wanted to go ahead and address, you know what I'm saying, you guys, and some, some things real quick that I had uh, put on my social media. So if you haven't already, you know what I'm saying, follow me on Instagram, at J.I. Productions underscore. You know what I'm saying? It pops up on the screen. And if you follow me on there, that is usually where you will get uh, the most updates. You know what I'm saying? The most recent accurate updates is on Instagram versus YouTube where I have to sit and edit the video and then upload it. Um, I can just upload straight to Instagram um, on my story and it takes like 30 seconds. You know what I'm saying? So i either go live on there or I'll post on my story. So I had posted on my story saying that, you know what I'm saying, it was fun while it lasted and, you know what I'm saying, I, I come to the conclusion that I'm going to go a different route with the bill. Now, a whole bunch of people started flooding my DMs. When I posted that, reacted to it, saying, I thought you said you wasn't going to sell Mamba. I thought you was keeping Mamba. Now you're selling them. Like, why? Don't sell them. Don't sell them. Blah, blah, blah. Bro, I'm not selling Mamba. Mamba's not for sale. Mamba is staying. He's here to stay. He's going to be on the channel for a very, very long time. Um, God willing, nothing happens to him. He's going to be here for a minute. Now, with that being said, there are a couple of parts that I do um, want to sell and uh are thinking and am thinking about selling um you know what i'm saying now when i say i'm going a different route that doesn't mean new car new platform no it means you know what i'm saying i did the cosmetic mods heavy for a minute you know what i'm saying when i first got this car even with hazel i did the cosmetics mods like crazy crazy but i want to get into that that different realm where it's like okay bet you know what i'm saying boom we're going we're gonna go performance. We're gonna go to the track. We're gonna, you know, try to get our best time. We're gonna try to beat beat our time. You know, we're gonna go to, you know, drag runs and, 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 and meetups from digs and stuff like that. You know, I wanna get into that. I wanna get into the horsepower more. You feel me? Like I used to I used to like really like only care about the cosmetics, but that was because I had a V6, you know what I'm saying? So now that I got the V8, it's time to push some power. Now Again, I said this from the jump and I stand on it. I'm not trying to be the fastest fifth gen in Houston. I'm not trying to be the fastest the fastest fifth gen in, in Texas or none of that by any means at all. All I'm looking for out of the setup that I'm planning on doing right now is low low fives, high fours, bro. Like that's all I'm looking for. You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking for nothing crazy. I'm not expecting to be 650 NA, you know what I'm saying? It's possible, it's doable, but I'm not. I'm not trying to be that guy. I'm just trying to be, you know, maybe like 550, you know, 490 area. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm trying to be. I'm just trying to be, make, I'm trying to make the power, be able to put it down to the ground. Yeah, man. So like I was saying, y'all, we are getting ready to turn a new leaf on the build, man. It's time to go full performance. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make some good numbers, make some good time. Going down the drag strip. So like I said, I will be camming the car. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to go with aftermarket heads or if I'm just going to go with some LS3 heads and get them ported. That's kind of what I want to do. And as far as intake manifold goes, I'm thinking about going with the Holly um, high rim uh, intake manifold. I'm gonna keep this uh, Rotofab intake um, and the headers are staying as well. However, I definitely wanna go boost, the, uh, boost ready cam because <laughs> I can't say too much. I ain't gonna say too much, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it all the low. But I'll go ahead and flip the camera over and show you guys the current setup for all the new subscribers. If you guys are new to the channel, I'm J.I. This is Mamba, you dig what I'm saying? The star of the channel. And these are the mods. All right, y'all. So a quick little look under the hood, man. Do not mind all these wires. This is all the wiring for all of my aftermarket lighting. Um, I know it's a complete mess. I really want to clean it up. It's just these wires are so freaking long for no reason. Um, so there's a lot of excess, as you guys can 
see. But what we want to talk about today, so we have the L99 motor here. It's an automatic, so it has the L99 instead of the LS3. If it was a manual, it would have been the LS3. I believe the LS3s make about 426 stock straight out the gate crank, and the L99s make 400 straight out the gate crank. Um, so with that being said, we have the Rotofab cold air intake. This is actually the second intake that I'm running on this car. Oh, wow. Isn't that just great that I noticed that, dude? Wow. Look at that, huh? Way to go, J.I. That's crazy, dude. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten that back down. But we have the Rotofab cold air intake. Before this, I had cold air inductions, cold air intake. Um, we have the Texas Speed long tube headers, 1 7 8. We have the MSD spark plug wires. We have the Mishimoto oil catch can. And then it is tuned by MS Tuning. The headers were installed by J Rod. Um, the MSD spark plug wires were installed by myself. That don't take too long. And then the Rotofab intake was also installed by myself. Um, I recently had took it off because I was gonna sell the car and then I put it back on and I was kind of rushing. So I definitely left that un, uh, tightened down. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten that down. Um, but yeah, man, as far as the performance mods go, man, that's pretty much it for the car as of right now. Like I said, I wanna go highly high ram intake manifold i want to go ported throttle body i want to go ls3 ported heads i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm gonna do it yet but that is the goal um and then i think i'm gonna go ahead and do the msd oil packs and then the flex fuel i definitely want to go flex fuel because i want to run e so i'm gonna go with the 1300 cc injectors um with the flex fuel kit and from Fast Tech Performance, DSX Tuning, I believe is the ones that make it. Um, I'm definitely gonna be running that so I can run E85 on here. Like I said, man, in the beginning of the video, the goal is to be high 400, low 500. I'm not trying to be the fastest dude out there, bro. I just wanna have a nice sounding car that definitely, you know what I'm saying, can put the power down and it's, you know, just fun to drive every day because that's what you want out of a daily, right? Um, but yeah. So that's what we got under the hood. Now I definitely want to show you guys uh, the new addition to the trunk. The trunk setup is coming along so great, man. So let's go ahead and go back here real quick. You dig what I'm saying? Follow your boy on IG if you haven't already. And smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, man. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop the trunk. So boom, as you guys can see, man, finally, Went ahead and painted the tank. Shout out to my boy Versatile Speed. He helped me do it. Um, it came out clean as hell. Now I used the same paint that I used on the calipers. So it kinda, if you look at it, kinda has like a texture to it. Um, you know what I'm saying? Which is okay. I think it's because it's high intense intensity heat paint. Um, and we didn't sand it down or primer, we just sprayed. So that's probably why. Um, in the future, you know what I'm saying? If I definitely wanted to clean it up, I could sand it down, primer it, and respray it with some actual gloss white um, paint. But this is what we got for right now. I think it looks amazing. We got both of the compressors hooked up. We got the water trap hooked up. All of the lines are ran so seamlessly. Um, I'm still working on coming up with a solution to stop the floor from separating. And then you guys let me know in the comment section down below because I want to know, should I get rid of this net right here and the shoes and just have the trunk be clean like that? Or should I leave it there? See, when I go to car meets, I take the net out. You know what I'm saying? So you can't see it. But yeah, man. And this is how the trunk setup is looking so far. I got something else coming to the tank. So this is not the final product of the tank nor the trunk setup. So you guys make sure you guys are staying tuned. Turn on those post notifications. Got the new um, replacement tail light six gen conversion joints coming on Thursday. And then we're sending those off to my new sponsor. And we got something coming for you guys. It's going to be a real game changer for the fifth gen Camaro, man. But with all that being said, man, that's actually going to conclude today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about the trunk setup so far? Are you guys excited for the build? Let me know in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. You already know I got to close the video off with a nice, cold, well, warm start. You dig? Yes, sir.